Hi family. So um, I'm part of very many families, especially in the health uh, communities. But honestly, this is one of my most personal uh, families. I'm so glad that you're here, that you are tuned in. Uh, my name is Amanda, for those that don't know my name. I am a nutritionist, but that's not uh, very important right now. What's more important is on this platform, on this channel, what we do is talk about anything food, you know, try and make it as simple as we can, try and make it as uh, exciting and fun. Uh, and also easy, because yes, we talk about healthy eating, but is it, are we talking about how to get there as well? And so that's why um, this channel was created. So feel free to be as um, verbal and as uh, engaging and participative as you can. Well, today we're going to be doing our kitchen hack. Usually here we are talking about Wanainchi kitchens. For those that don't know the local uh, language here in East Africa, uh, if you're beyond borders, what Wanainchi means is common man, layman, you know, someone, regular, ordinary person that's not living such a luxurious lifestyle, but um, would also want to eat right, would also want to eat healthy, would also want to eat fun. So here we do uh, Wanainchi kitchens, and in our Wanainchi kitchens, that definitely means sometimes we don't have the gadgets that we need, we don't have the equipment that we need, but we shouldn't be, you know, stuck up or stranded. We should be able to have alternatives because there should be something for everyone, right? Yeah, so um, here we're looking at alternatives, uh, ways to sort of uh, improvise for if you don't have particular gadgets or things in your kitchen and you still want to have a great meal or a healthy meal or a fun meal or an easier way to make a meal. So that's what uh, our kitchen hacks are all about. Today we're going to be doing one of those. So stay tuned, don't leave the set. Before we always get into our you know, kitchen hack, we always like to make sure that we are keeping our food safe uh, from us <laughs> because sometimes we have things that actually contaminate our food. So for me in particular, I like to make sure I've covered my hair up so it you know, you know, doesn't uh, get into uh, whatever we're making. So I'll just do that quickly and then we'll head into our uh, kitchen hack. Of course, after covering our hair up, uh, please endeavor to wash your hands because you're going to need to use clean hands to handle your food. Yeah, so I'm done. Let's get right into our kitchen hack. All right, my people. So our kitchen hack today is really about uh, trying to keep the kitchen uh, a little less messy because most times when we're trying to make food, we find out that, you know, we are pouring things here, spilling things there. And so the kitchen is messy and there's a lot more work even after cooking uh, than when you started. So today we just want to find out what if we don't have funnels because uh, in Wanaichi kitchen, sometimes you may not find a funnel. Funnel is supposed to help us channel liquids very easily into containers without uh, being very messy, like we have talked about earlier. So what if in my Wanaichi kitchen, I don't have a funnel? Or maybe the funnel was misplaced and I really need to uh, you know, channel a liquid through into a container. Uh, or maybe my funnel just got uh, broken or damaged. Uh, and I really need to channel, you know, again, a liquid into a container. What do I do? Uh, does that mean, you know, I get back to my messy self? Well, no, there is good news for you. There's good news for me. All we have to do is you can actually use a measuring cup. I know most of you have these for those that make uh, chapatis, mandazis, you know, cakes, cookies. You all have measuring cups. Uh, yes, they're supposed to help us, you know, measure the right quantities according to the recipes of whatever um, liquid and uh, uh, maybe uh, ingredients we are using because they have measurements mine uh, already lost its measurements um, uh, but you can actually use the other end which is supposed to be the handle of your measuring cup it usually has some sort of spout uh, where you know you can actually channel this uh, liquid through so we're going to be just uh, you know, uh, illustrating that. Uh, we are going to pour our juice. Today I've made some juice right here, as you can see. If you'd like to know the contents, uh, some of you might want to know. Uh, I made uh, pineapple. I added a little bit of mango. I used some uh, uh, lemongrass as well to, you know, just add some some flavor, but also it's great with anti... It has a lot of antioxidants, and that's why I put it in there. And then I put a little bit of honey also, and maybe a quarter of banana. Yeah, so this is cocktail juice, really, but I want to now channel it into my jar or my jar. What do I do? So I bring my jar, like you can see, 
here I always like to put a cloth right under there so um, any spills that happen we are actually going to be uh, curbing that with the cloth you put under there uh, the, from the juice we made I've just poured uh, some of it inside my measuring cup and yeah sometimes we like to pour just directly like that but uh, that's where the spills come from so i'm going to use my measuring cup uh, this has a bigger opening but some of our uh, containers some of our bottles don't have as big openings as this so uh, that's where these with small spouts need to come in and as you can see um you know the juice is pouring in right into my jug without having any spills anywhere else this can also be done with your oils, you know, after you're finished, maybe deep frying something and you need to uh, put the oil uh, that has cooled down back into your back into your bottle for your cooking oil uh, uh, jar. This can also be used. Simple as that. So I'm pouring some more because I still have a lot more juice in my, um, in my little uh, juice basin. I'm pouring some more inside my jar without having to spill any of it anywhere. Isn't that good news? You know, you don't have to have messy kitchens uh, anymore. Or at least we can reduce the mess with some of these things. So yes, this is my last amount that I'm pouring in there with my spout. So this, I think, would be very, very more practical for smaller uh, small containers with smaller openings. Okay, so that's very little. I'm going to pour it that way. And just by doing that, I didn't have to have a funnel. As long as I had my measuring cup, it worked as good as a funnel. So uh, next time you get stranded, you don't have a funnel, you forgot where it is, your funnel is destroyed, please just get your measuring cup and you know pour your liquid as easily uh, as you have seen into uh, your jug or your container or whatever it, it is, or wherever it is you actually want to pour your liquid. And then we'll be able to have a very, um, we'll be able to have a, neater cleaner and uh, you know less messy kitchen than we have uh, previously been having so if you liked the video please do give us some feedback let us know what you thought about it is it helpful do you would you like to try it or even try it and let us know how it went for you let's make our kitchens easier to deal with let's make cooking more fun let's make eating much less tedious than it has been before and yeah uh yeah so do give us feedback let us know if there's something else you'd want to watch or want to know about uh, we are very happy to read that and consider that in creation of our next content those that haven't subscribed uh you are still lagging behind there's so much content here you don't want to miss out on it so please do subscribe help yourself and subscribe and don't forget to press the little bell icon that's next to the subscribe button uh, until next time when we do another kitchen hack hope you've enjoyed this one uh, see you and uh, have a lovely lovely rest of your week until next week bye